morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and I'm excited to be here this morning at Ellis Home and Garden. Dina couldn't be with us this morning. She had something else she had to do, so we will definitely miss her. But as y'all join us this morning, y'all leave a comment down below. Let us know that you're here and where you're watching from. And any questions or comments you have throughout today's video, drop those down below as well, even if you're watching the replay later, because, girl, we still want to hear from you. So guys, Rebecca's probably going to kill me because we were going to do a Christmas wreath today, but then I walked in the store, I saw something out of the corner of my eye, usually it's a snack, but um, I saw some bells, and I thought they'd be super cute, so we're going to incorporate those into a teardrop today, something fun for Christmas, and something you can replicate um, at home for your door, maybe inside your home as well. Hope y'all all had an incredible Halloween. We, of course, went to our annual Halloween celebration, our friend Mickey's son. I mean, his birthday is right before Halloween, so every single year she lives in a huge neighborhood with lots of kids, and we sit out in the driveway, hand out candy, have a few drinks, have some snacks. I literally ate till I couldn't eat anymore, and just hung out and had fun and had a safe Halloween because it's so crazy out there in the world these days that it's always great to be there with all the kids and just celebrate and have fun for the holiday. So I hope that you and your families and your kids or grandkids had a fun, happy Halloween as well. And now that Halloween is over, honey, Mariah Carey has defrosted. You know what that means. Today's November 1st, so Christmas season is here. I cannot believe it. I have a client today. Actually, after this, I'm going to do a treat for her, and I'm excited to kick off the season. i got to take it easy this year because of my back, so I'm not doing um, a lot, but, you know, just a few, but I am excited. Okay, y'all say hi as you come in. Nothing like starting off with a dog hair in your mouth. So I've got a teardrop here. Put this up here. Okay. And you guys want to use probably a 32 to 36 inch teardrop. So it just depends on what you want to use. But these are the bells that I found. Look, they even make noise. Um, that were really cool and they're very rustic. And we really haven't done anything rustic this year. So I thought it'd be fun to incorporate and use those in here. So because I want those bells to be almost like the star of the show, I don't want to go too crazy with a bunch of mixed ribbons. I want to just use one. And I found one out there that's a more of a traditional plaid ribbon. So let me take this off and show you. So this ribbon, it's got red and green, a little bit of white, and a tiny bit of gold. So I always like to put a little bit of gold, especially when I'm doing something like these bells because they remind me of Santa. Um, but if you wanted to go more on the buffalo plaid route, you totally could, and you can still use the same florals that I'm going to use in this wreath as well, okay? So I'm going to just tie me a bow to go up here at the top of my teardrop, and as I do that, y'all let me know how your Halloween was. Hi, Lori. Um, I have not had a chance, because we had Halloween last night, to watch Dancing with the Stars, um, but I hope it was amazing, and I can't wait to get a chance to watch that Um and I usually save it to watch it with Morgan, so I can't wait. But if y'all did watch, tell me who went home, okay? Because I want to know. It better have been Vinny. Okay, so we're just doing one bow with one ribbon. But like I said, you're more than welcome to stack your ribbons and use different ones. But I wanted to keep the bow pretty traditional and standard because I don't want to take away from those Christmas bells that we're going to have in the actual teardrop itself, okay? I'm almost said I think most of these bolts of ribbon are five yard and so you can get a full bow out of one bolt or one uh, roll of ribbon also guys um, the item of the week is Christmas decor and it's 15% off I believe that's what she said 15% uh, off and there's all kinds of stuff on the website besides the things that I'm using so um, it's, and I'm not sure if these bells are online but if they're not they're available I'm sure at each of our locations and there's different colors as well. So if you don't want red or you want to do maybe there's like a galvanized one, um, more of a farmhouse look, then you totally could do that too. Okay, don't forget we also sell Probo the Hand at ellishomeandgarden.com and you can pick that up if you have if you struggle with hand-tied bows because it makes beautiful, fabulous bows, honey. It saves your fingers, saves your hands and your wrist. And if you were to replicate this, you'd probably want to do row E and that'll get you about the same size. Okay, so I have my bow. See how pretty that was? It's just one roll of ribbon. And it makes a pretty bow, okay? So I'm gonna come up here and tie this on the top of my teardrop. Okay. 
Once you get that up there, just kind of fluff it around. And if you're familiar with Ellis and you've been in here and shopped before, then you know that every Christmas they put out their Christmas bell swags, which are very beautiful and they're timeless and it's something that you can use year after year. They really never go out of style. Well, this is kind of similar to those, although we're using a different type of bell, okay? So with this bell, let me find my scissors. They're right here under my stuff. I'm gonna cut off the tag and that piece of rope. And then these have a hook up here at the very top. So I've got two bells, these are pretty large in size. So I'm gonna come up here at the top. And I'm gonna anchor in my first bell, okay? You wanna kinda of swag it off to the right because then we're gonna put our second one right here and we're gonna swag this one off to the left. And these will make a great door hanger and you could definitely hear if anybody come in your house, girl, because they're making noises. So then I'm gonna come down here and tie this one. as well okay so you have two big bells that you can put on your swag and then once you get those on there of course you can adjust and fluff out your ribbon so now before we add any florals I've got one more roll of the same plaid that I used in the bow I'm gonna cut the plastic off and then we're gonna slip this in there too and I'm gonna show you a different way you can add in your ribbon that's really quick and easy so cut yourself a strip off, probably like 48 inches or so. And then you can make some smaller loops. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna use those ties that are in my base and I'm gonna put some extra ribbon going throughout. And I'll adjust those tails in just a second, so just get them on there first. Okay, don't forget about the bottom down there. I'm gonna put a little piece down here. And because these bows, guys, are a little bit larger, or not bows, um, bells they're a little bit larger in size that's why i went with a 36 inch teardrop but like i said if you prefer a 32 you could do that and also if you had a smaller bell then that would work out in your favor as well okay so i'm just going to curl the ends of my ribbon and add those in there Okay, so all we've done so far is just added two bells and a little bit of ribbon. So you could totally stop here. This would be a stopping place if you wanted it to be. Um, but I'm gonna show you how we can add a little florals to dress this up even more. So one of my favorites is of course cedar. So this is a cedar floral stem. Okay. I'm going to cut this. Now remember, this is for demo, but if you're doing this at home, you want to definitely glue it or if you plan on reselling. So I'm going to start placing in a little bit of my cedar. And I chose this one because it's not technically real touch, but it looks and feels very realistic. And I love that when working with um, especially rustic items. I just like the mixtures and textures of greenery that it gives you. So I'm going to alternate these through the rest of the teardrop. Hi, Elena. Thank you so much, honey. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. Okay. Go right here. Add another one. Look how pretty that is already with just the greenery, guys. And a tip for you is, say you don't have this pick at home and you're on a budget or your client is, then you could just take a garland, if you have a garland that you have, and cut it up that's got a different texture in it besides like a PVC. And you could incorporate that into your teardrop as well. So either one of those would work. You don't just have to use uh, the exact piece that I'm using here. 
Y'all want to remind you, I don't know if they're for sure dates of when it opens, but here at Longview, they have Christmas at the Gardens. I'm trying to look out there. I can see lights. Um, they're out there working, and they have a beautiful Christmas light display with all kinds of things. And I think they have like hot chocolate and stuff like that. So make sure y'all get on the email list and stuff or check the Facebook page for updates because... As they begin to open that up out there, they'll give you information and stuff. But if you haven't been, it's really pretty. I came through every year that they've done it. I think this is year three or year four. And they keep adding more and more every year. And it's really fun for the family. So y'all have to come out and check it out. Okay, I'm continuing now. I'm going to add a little bit of flock pick. And the reason I'm adding some flocking is because I have that little touch of white that was running down the center of the ribbon. So I just want to use a little bit of flocking to not only lighten this up, but to tie in what was in that ribbon as well, okay? So y'all leave a comment and let us know what you did for Halloween. Whether you stayed at home with your family, whether you went trick-or-treating, whether you gave out candy. The neighborhood that I went to that I was talking about here in town, I've never in my life seen so many kids. I mean, they were everywhere. But it was fun. And they let them out of school well, Spring Hill does anyway. Let him out of school for um, Halloween yesterday. Although you'd think they would want to let him out the day after because they're all wired from that candy. But they all seem to have a good time and they got to spend the whole day playing with their friends and enjoying the holiday. You know, I was talking about, um, I was talking to Josh and we were talking about how when we were kids, we didn't get out of school for anything. I mean, they gave you like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for Thanksgiving and then you got, I think, two weeks for Christmas. And that in spring break. And that was it, honey. But now they let, they let them out every other day, girl. I'm like, dang, can't y'all put these kids back in school? Okay. Continuing to add in my flock pieces. And don't forget about down here at the bottom. Because we want all this to tie in. So now we have added, I'm going to zoom in a little bit of this. Oh, Debbie said they had lots of children. Girl, we had lots of kids too, but we had lots of adults. I mean, they were everywhere, running amok. Okay, so now that I have... Now that I have the flock pieces in the cedar, this is a rustic piece, and we do have those decorative bells. So I'm going to add a little bit of red berry just to help tie in that red a little bit as we continue with the teardrop, okay? And I challenge you guys, I haven't done that in a while, to get out of your comfort zone, you know? So if you haven't done anything like this because of the size of those bells, um, I say go for it, honey. Have a little fun, be creative, take your time, and stay patient. That's always the best advice I can give. And, you know, I think it'll turn out really pretty. These would also be great... Um, if you match them in your Christmas tree as well, I think that it would be awesome. Okay. So I'm going to continue adding in my red berry picks. And you want to put these in all the areas where you have your others so everything ties in and blends together. A little bit down there. over here at the top as well like that okay I'm gonna zoom in one more time and let me give you a walkthrough of what we have done okay so we have taken a 36 inch PVC teardrop we took um, two bolts of ribbon for the entire project and I used the plaid so we did one bow at the top that's five yards and then we put our two bells in I kind of caddy cornered them a little bit then we took our other ribbon and I tied that in using the tips and stuff that are on the wreath. And then we added in all of our florals and mixed those in there as well. 
So again, you can do this on a 36 inch form or you could do smaller. It all depends on the size and the scale of your bells, okay? And I wanted to do this just to show you a different idea because we haven't done anything too rustic before and rustic's one of my favorites. So I wanted to make sure that I showed this off to y'all. But I hope that you enjoy this and love it and it inspires you to do something different. Today's November 1st, the start of the Christmas season, in my head anyway. Of course, we have Thanksgiving, but a lot of people celebrate Thanksgiving and still have their tree up, um, or they do it that weekend. So y'all make sure to share what your plans are for the holidays, whether you decorate now so you can enjoy it longer, do it Thanksgiving weekend with your family, um, because I'd love to hear it. I know Dina would when she gets back uh, next week. All right, guys, I love y'all for watching. Shop us at ellishomeandgarden.com. Don't forget to check out the information about uh, Christmas in the gardens because they're getting it all set up out there. I can't wait to see it. And if y'all have any questions, drop those down below. Even if you're watching the replay and somebody will respond and help you guys out. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you all had a great Halloween. We'll see you next time here at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, y'all.